I'm Mayor Gary Sells, and with me today is City of Revelstoke Bylaw Compliance Supervisor Joe Marcoffio. Today we're talking about animal control, specifically dogs within the City of Revelstoke. Joe, it's no secret that the people of Revelstoke love their dogs. Can you tell me the biggest issue officers face when it comes to animal control here in the city? Morning, and thank you for having me. Uh, yes, probably the largest complaint that we have uh, about dogs is their owners failing to keep them under their care and control. Basically, we call that having a dog at large right. and um, not having your dog on the leash. And so, you know, um, really, when we talk about dogs here in our community, for someone that owns a dog or is thinking of getting one, what are the city regulations that they should be aware of? Uh, actually, we only have a few regulations and they're quite simple. First one is you have to have your dog licensed if it's over six months of age um, and you can obtain that license here at City Hall. Uh, and the other one is to keep your dog under your care and control and using a leash is the best way to do that. Great. And so when we talk about uh, those regulations and uh, in a license, so there's a couple options for people regarding that license? That's correct. Um, you're able to obtain a license in uh, in two fa fashions. One would be obtaining a lifetime uh, license for the lifetime of the dog. Right. Um, and then the second one would be to renew a license annually. And so we're looking at lifetime dog license is 75 bucks for the life of the dog. Annual license is 20 bucks if they're spayed or neutered. And then it's slightly more if they're, uh, if they're not. Is that correct? That's correct, yeah. Um, $20 a year annually for your dog if it's spayed or neutered. And then I believe it jumps up to $60 a year if your dog is not spayed or neutered. So a um, mm. little financial savings there. Yeah, good, all right, good. Joe, from a bylaw perspective, can you tell our audience what a person should do if uh, they experience an incident involving a dog that's not under the control of its owner? Call bylaw enforcement immediately. Let us know what has happened. Uh, I do understand some incidences are a little bit more minor in nature. You can report those by calling us or you can use the uh, city reporting system C-Click Fix. We get those uh, notifications immediately and we can attend if you leave the address in the little description. Um, more serious incidences, please call us because we will need more detail and information from you if something like that happens. But uh, those two systems um, you can use and uh, we will respond or contact you shortly. And so if they're not using C-Click Fix, what's the number they should be calling? Uh, the new number here is 837-4747 and that goes directly to bylaw compliance. Um, you could also call City Hall as well if you want to uh, report it that way. Eventually that will get to us, but the quickest way is at this number that I gave you. All right, perfect, good, all right. Um, thanks, Joe, for uh, joining me today. I hope our conversation helps inform and educates folks about dog ownership here in Revelstoke. And uh, thank you to our audience for joining us today. Be sure to share this with your friends and don't forget to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel, Facebook, or Instagram. Thanks okay. again, Joe. Thank Appreciate you. It.